The large Southern California winter waves make this underwater habitat a very arduous place. The surge cleans the sand of most life and exposes the normally hidden clams. Boreholes show this has become a bounty for the moon snails. Life is hard and sparse under the winter swells. The calm waters of spring attract life back to the pier. On an unusually clear day, clouds of fish can be seen swarming through the pier. Mussels start to blink at the bottom and compete with the bryozoan for space. A rich habitat is back. Juvenile Garibaldi and many sculpins once again call this home. Small kelpfish learn how to disappear within the loose kelp blades. This is one of the few places in California where pipefish can be spotted with regularity. Empty clamshells make homes for the blennies. Human refuse makes a home for a small fringe head. Larger trash and empty moon snail shells make homes for the adults. The fall months is territory establishing time for the sarcastic fringe heads. Guitarfish are a common bottom feeder around the pier. They're also a favorite of the fishermen overhead. Their filleted carcasses are recycled below. The fishermen overhead provide an endless bounty to the crabs. Many crab species are found under the pier. Summertime is time for love for the crabs. A night dive reveals a bottom alive with crabs. Empty moon snail shells also provides a home for the octopus. A hunting octopus tries for a sculpting dinner, sitting at the bottom left corner. Enough hunting, time to hide from the video lights. Nudibranchs also call this home. This structure provides a rich habitat in a normally barren area. The constant contributions from above can be a benefit, a danger, or deadly.